after losing a few pounds, I was walking across the parking lot at the mall and I wore a pair of pants that were a little too big for me. And I thought, oh, they're fine. I can wear these one more time. I was wrong, y'all. I was walking across the parking lot and my pants fell down to the ground. Literally, I was like, pants on the ground, pants on the ground. <laughs> Been like a fool with my pants on the ground. But what's funny is my first thought, my very first thought was not, oh shit, I need to pull my pants up. My first sh thought was, oh shit, did I wear my good panties today? Because <laughs> ladies, y'all know what I'm talking about. We only got two good pairs of panties. The rest of our panties look like freaking extras on The Walking Dead. They got open sores and viruses on them. And when you take them off at night, you gotta shoot them in the fucking head. And there's some shit OxyClean does not get out. I'm just saying. Oh, that's kind of gross, I know. <laughs> uh, also noticed one day after I lost a few pounds, I was brushing my hair, brushing my hair, looking in the mirror, and I noticed that I got this hot, new, sexy arm flab now. Oh my God. You know, at first I was really embarrassed about it. I was really self-conscious. But then I got to thinking about it. You know what? Fuck it. I'm gonna own this shit. I'm gonna go to a tattoo and body piercing place and get the biggest set of ear gauges I can find and stretch these motherfuckers to the ground. I'm gonna put big old plates in them and we're gonna put dinner plates in this one and Amazonian tribal women plates over in this one. Have Thanksgiving dinner in my armpit. That's right, it's ridiculous. I feel like I, feel like I look like a damn flying squirrel when I go down the stairs. Like, ooh. If you need to jump off a building, just hop on my back. Just hop on my back. It's kind of strange for me now, though, when I go clothes shopping. It's kind of weird, you know. I'm not exactly, you know, in the quote-unquote regular size now. I still got to shop in the plus-size section sometimes. And I hate shopping in the plus-size section. I hate it. Have y'all ever noticed the plus-size section at every store is always in the very back corner? It's like dark and depressing. All the lights are turned off. There's like one tracksuit hanging there. And it's a size 8X. Like, no one can wear that. It's surrounded by rows and racks and racks of spanks. That's it. That's all we get in the plus size section. And it's always like, you know, two chicks that look like me and the rest are little old ladies in that section going, oh, look at the sweater with the kitty cats on it. Oh, it looks just like the one I bought at the Cracker Barrel. <laughs> I have to admit, y'all, I have to admit, the day I realized I was getting older and I knew I was in a new age demographic was the day I liked a shirt they sold at the Cracker Barrel. <laughs> I just think that's wrong because I don't think anyone should be making decisions after you eat grandpa's country fried breakfast. <laughs> Uncle Herschel would not approve. <laughs> Can y'all tell I eat a Cracker Barrel a lot? Oh man. Hey, I'm from Nashville. Thanks for hollering at me earlier, Nashville people. Yeah, thank you. Appreciate it. Yeah, yep. It's kind of weird in Nashville. We've had some animal control issues lately in Nashville. This past year in Nashville, we had a groundhog problem, like a groundhog population explosion. They're running all over Nashville. I've got a huge groundhog living in my backyard, y'all. He's gigantic. I opened my back door the other day and he was fucking mean mugging me. He was like, try to see my shadow, bitch. It's like, oh, okay, Mr. Groundhog. All right, you know. And I don't want to kill him. You know, I don't want to kill him. I want to trap him humanely and then like take him out in the woods and release him. I think that's the right thing to do. But then I got to thinking about it. You know, what if he's a city groundhog? What if he's lived in the city and the suburbs his whole life? Is that the equivalent of like kidnapping a black man from Brooklyn and just dropping him off in the middle of Pulaski, Tennessee? And be like, well, good luck! You're part of the Every Redneck Town Gets a New Minority Program. Here's a George Jones CD and a Goo Goo Cluster to get you acclimated. Hope you can run. Uh, another weird thing that happens at my house in Nashville 
when it rains really hard, my whole house gets covered with snails. It's the weirdest thing. Like hundreds of snails come out. It's crazy. My house looks like one of those shitty 70s horror movies that has one word and an exclamation point. You know, it's like, ants and bees, but I have snails. <laughs> Doesn't sound very scary though, does it? Can you imagine a horror movie where a bunch of snails are crawling at you? You know, you're like, That's, that's what I'm dealing with, y'all.